Hey everybody, it's Linda G. How you doing? And here with Mel. Hey. <laughs> oh, by the way, I definitely have to end with the near. I did, forgot I have a client at, at 11 and then I have a uh, pick a card with my meeting members. Um, so anyway, how how you, I like your shirt. Thank you. Yes. And I'm you and I are going to see each other Wednesday. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm not going to take this one to Sedona because I thought, do I wear it on Linda's show on Monday or do I? So I've got different ones for Sedona. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, normally I don't work on Mondays. I'm from my office today. But because I'm going to Sedona on Wednesday, I work today to kind of. That's how I've been working every weekend, kind of filling in people for the week. Yeah, because they, you know, my schedule's finally going to slow down and sure. probably even more so by July. You know, my people, you know, sometimes they wait quite a while to get in, you know, maybe a month or two. I know yours is longer than that. But so, you know, when we reschedule them, we try to get them in a lot sooner because, it's you know, sometimes it's not fair to them. But I'm just excited to be going to Sedona. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Great. I'm really looking forward. To oh that. yeah, well, there's a pizza place you were going to, you guys. That had, well, yes. My yep. my nephew's gonna drive our. It's not a bus. It's a big, huge van. He's gonna drive us up there, and we're gonna stop there first when we get up there. Not and, to mention the uh, Bloody Marys. <laughs> yeah, I I I don't think I had the Bloody Mary. I I don't recall. You took a little taste of mine. I did. Okay. And my did my sister like it too? Yes, we. I think she had two, and I had two. We're like, yeah, yeah. You guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Listen, Sue and, Sue and Jim will be up there earlier, so they may even be able to hold a nice big table for us. Oh, good. So I, I'll mention that to Cousin Sue. I remember coming on my trip when we got to Cottonwood, and I said, Linda, here's a restaurant. I'm like, couldn't get off the I know. bus. You, uh, your face was pressed up against the glass. Please, <laughs> please. You can see the nose marks on the glass. So funny, you know, I said the first thing, we don't care about the shopping. The first thing we're going to do is yes. hit that restaurant. Okay, so, okay. and if anybody who's coming up there wants to know uh, the name of it, just write me at Grindle9. B-O-C-C-E. Is it B-O-C-C-E? Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I get that stupid snack box on the airplane. <laughs> so I'll figure by the time I get to Sedona, I'll be ready. <laughs> yeah, our flight isn't long enough for a snack, I don't think. Uh, you know, I, I got first class really cheap. So I figured I'll go first class out there. So, yeah. You know, the only difference is, and then on the way back, I got a bulkhead right next to first class. So it's an equal amount of leg room. The only difference is, is the snack box they give you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, what airline are you taking? United. Yeah. I'll be on the same flight as Jen. Okay, cool. Okay, listen, I have we have questions. You have questions. I have questions. Yes, I have a question from Janine that I like. She said, always enjoy watching you both. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Janine. My question, will they ever find a monetary link between certain GOP senators and Russia? Absolutely, yes. Okay, thank you. I'm seeing it in neon. My guys are showing me, yes. Yes, yes. All that dark money is the the light is going to be shining on the the sources of that dark money. That's fantastic. <laughs> Huge. Thank Huge. You. Okay, uh, you ask a question. Okay, this is normally I don't like to answer questions about celebrities because they're private business. Me too. Stuff. I don't do Johnny Depp. Uh, well, somebody asked about the trial and you know who's going to win, but all all, all I'm going to say is you know, I, I watched the testimony. I, I picked it up on YouTube and I saw his and hers, but I feel sincerity with him. I don't know how you feel, Linda. But I, no, I can't make comment. Okay, I got it. Because I know people and stuff there I, involved. So uh, I keep my opinion to myself. I do see his career taking off again. I did see that. That I did see. I did see there's some sort of reprieve and people start hiring him again. Uh, yeah, I see his career taking off again. So anyway, okay, we'll go with Barbara Teresa, and she wants to know: Is is Poopkin terminally ill? I was my question next. Oh, really? <laughs> Keep going. Great minds work is, alike. Is Poopkin what? Is Poopkin terminally ill? He's got thyroid cancer, but it's pretty curable. Yeah. Um, he looks like he's sick with something. He just was on the news today, but don't forget he's having people who look like him 
go on. Oh, I gotcha. But like uh, uh, Kim Jong Un, I think he's gone. I think they just got fake Kim Jong Uns running around, and well, the sisters I, running the ship. I have seen illness around Pupkin for a very long time. Yeah, and I'm not seeing a long life for him. My guides are showing me, but I don't think it's illness that'll take him out. His mental illness, maybe, but not a physical one. I think his own people are going to get rid of him. I did. That's what I saw. And some big wig, some, you know, how things get leaked. They were talking about they're, they're arranging for a coup. They're going to they're gonna run him out. That's I always saw him running. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you what I saw. Well, I told you on your show before. I saw my guide show me him on, a, on his yacht. And it was in flames and it was sinking and he was yelling help uh and there were all these boats around and it was a going down nobody was offering to help and they were all applauding so <laughs> okay all right i have a question people uh some kathy wants to know what is happening to the people at shanghai who is on lockdown and starving oh by uh, the way that guy the big league there's something wrong with him you mean health wise? Health wise, yeah. I don't know if you had a stroke or something. Something's happened to him. I'm picking up stroke. Uh, I really haven't looked into China. I've been focusing a lot on Ukraine. The lockdown I see ending if it hasn't ended already. I, I didn't hear about people starving to death. That part I did know about. Oh, it's terrible. They're screaming out the windows, begging for food. That's terrible. They're not taking care of, they're locking them in and not taking care of them. Another, you know, gross violation of human rights. Um, I, I get, what was the question was, is it still going on or what was the question again? Yeah, what happened to those people that were screaming out the windows begging for food? Uh, I think I see them feeding them. I see them coming in. Like you guys better get on this and start shipping food to the door. I see like, uh, maybe this going on for a couple, two or three more months there, and then people being able to get out more. You know, uh, I didn't pick up people starving. I'm just not saying it's not happening. I just didn't pick up on it. Okay. But I do, but I'm hearing in my, with my psychic ear, they will be fed. That's what I'm hearing. They okay. will. Be fed. I didn't, you know, I'm hearing they will be. <laughs> okay. Okay, your question. Um, all righty. Uh, people are asking about Finland and Sweden joining NATO. And if they do, what are the repercussions? And somebody asked about if they would be nuked by a Russian submarine. I don't. Mm -mm. He just said, you'll regret it if you join. He ain't doing nothing. Finland is going like this to Putin. Yeah. And so is Sweden. And even that. And it was thanks to what he did to the Ukraine is what made them do this. That's right. They will join NATO. Yes, they will. And, I and I'm not, I see him bitching and complaining, but I don't even know if he'll be around. Uh, right. And it's them joining NATO is coming quick. Yeah. And I've still got a funny feeling in the near future, they're going to let Ukraine into NATO. I, I still know. see that. So, yeah, that's a pretty much given. Right. And then we've answered this one, but Heather also wants to know about Ukraine, but she also wants to know about uh, abortion rights. Um, and she says, is the world ever going to stop spinning counterclockwise and upside down? I'm depressed. Uh, my fantasy skating life is not helping. She's a lady who asked about ice skating. So, okay. Uh, so you're asking a second question. Yeah, she wants to know about abortion rights. And well, we just answered Ukraine. Yeah. They're ultimately going to win. Uh, but she asked us, is the world going to stop spinning counterclockwise? And she's asking about abortion rights. Yeah, I think abortion rights are going to be. I'm go I don't even know if this 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 Roe versus Wade is being knocked off. I've never felt it being knocked off. Is being what? Knocked off, stopped. I, I just feel that these justices are under so much pressure. Even Thomas had the nerve to go out there and say, well, you don't see uh, us conservatives going out and marching against liberals. 
Clarence Thomas is, you know, a, a Supreme Court justice should not be that politicized, and he is. Yeah. And the one thing about that leak, the one thing it did do was brought a lot of light on Clarence Thomas and the crap he's trying to pull. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, he's already started the beginning of his downfall, but this just added impetus to that. Right, right. So, you know, then I heard him say something about he was concerned about the leak. Excuse me, you're going to let women die because of backstreet abortions and you're worried about who leaked the information. Oh yeah. And he said the Supreme court will never be looked at the same. Well, he's right about that because of jerks like him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when we found out the FBI never did a thing on. That's right. On Kavanaugh. So now it's my turn. Yep. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I just get on a roll. I know, because you, you want one, two, and I'm like, well, I'm supposed to. I, well, have you know, to I, I can't add so that. <laughs> OK, how about uh, earthquakes? Any Now, listen, I will tell you, someone asked about this. And just yesterday, I got a hit that there will be a good size earthquake in California. Not Armageddon, but, you know, a good shaker. Up north, I see up north. Is it up north? Okay, I couldn't tell where it was. I wasn't feeling it where I was standing, although I feel a shaker around here too, but it feels more next year. Up near Marin County, up by San Francisco. Well, oh, that's where I, that, I live near Marin County. Oh, <laughs> so. uh, but that, you know, in the whole scope of things, you know, I mean, it's not going to be a humongous quake, but no. enough to get attention. Enough to get attention and interrupt something. I don't know what that is. You know, Napa had a not huge, but they had a good quake and it did some significant damage. But I am seeing another one in Southern California. I don't know if it's LA or San Francisco. Or is it Central California or Southern? I think Sterling and I were feeling Central California. Well, I'm feeling it north of LA, but I don't know. I see, I don't know California geography that well. Yeah. But that one would probably, that would be a good size quake. And you know, there's some injuries, but I don't see it doing like a humongous amount of damage. <laughs> okay. Now, um, Julianne said, uh, after three mass murders in the US, will we ever be safe again? Well, this, I thought about this shooting uh, that just happened in New York. And by the way, I'm Please, everybody send healing energy to those uh, families. Of those and aren't the people that live there just beautiful? We love, we forgive. Our community loves each other. We've done nothing to nobody. Oh my God, just beautiful. That, that was huge. Um, you know, the thing that bothers me about that is, you know, with a lot of these repubes, you can't talk about critical race theory, but yet they can tout the great replacement theory, which says that, you know, that, that it's some kind of conspiracy theory saying that non-white individuals are being brought in the USA and other Western countries to, re to replace white voters. It's a bunch of BS, but it's that same kind of poison venom that energized this person, this kid to go out and start shooting people. Yeah. And a lot of these Republicans that are touting this uh, this great replacement theory, it's going to bite them in the butt. Yeah. With this shooting, because people are going to say, "Wait a minute, it's their behavior that helped to energize this dude." Right. Right. Oh, uh, oh yeah, right. Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero, but uh, Colin right? Kaepernick is a is a awful man because he kneeled. And when they made when the when the repubes made Kyle Rittenhouse like a hero, that frightened me because I knew it was just going to give energy and almost permission to other people to go out and commit hate crimes. Right, exactly. And the other thing is, um, he's no hero. He's going to get hit hard by that civil lawsuit. By the way. Oh, I mean, a lot of these repubes are fuel, fueling the fire of racism, including Trump, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Josh Kelly, Matt Gates, you know, Kevin McCarthy, Ted Cruz, Greg Abbott, Ron DeSantis, uh, Kremlin Carlson. I mean, they, in my opinion, they all have blood on their hands. Yeah, yeah. But, 
you know, it should, I think what it'll do is like uh, pull a lot of people more toward the Democratic side. Yeah. I heard it on MSNBC. I don't know if it's true, but more Hispanics are signing up, signing up Republican. Have you heard that? Uh, I've heard that, yes. And it, I'm, it is true, but you have to look at the demographic of that. A lot of Cubans are Republicans. Okay. So you got to say, okay, but what Hispanic group? Are they Mexican? Are they from South America? Are they Cuban? Where are they from? So Okay. It doesn't matter. I see the Dems winning big time. Good. And John Fetterman had a stroke, and I want you to know that he's going to be fine. He blew uh, a, a clot. So he didn't have any damage, no residual damage. Because I had a question about probably that. painful because it went through his heart. Was, but, was it a heart attack or a stroke? Both. It's probably. a stroke. No, I pick up like you. He's gonna be he's gonna be okay. He's gonna be I think he's gonna win too. Uh, I pick up a win for him. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. I hope we answered that question. I don't know what the question was about the shooting or. <laughs> no, is that is or can we be safe? You can't go to the movies. You can't go to church. You can't go grocery shopping. What the hell? Well, unfortunately, there's going to be more of them. And our children, these babies, my grandson has to do those drills for shooters. Jesus Christ. You know well, what it's going to be? This is the flash I had. Even to get into a grocery store, you're going to have to go through a monitor. It's going to make sure you don't have a gun on you. Amy Smith is asking that question about gun control. After this weekend, will we vote for people who support gun control in the midterms? And the answer to that is yes. But I think it's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to have, it's gonna take a while before we get more gun control laws. Yeah, because that kid bought an AK legally and got the stuff to fix it up legally. I'm asking my guides, and at some point they're gonna make the assault rifles illegal. But I do see you can't get into a venue or to a grocery store. Every little place is going to have something that detects, like they do if you're stealing something. They're going to detect if you've got, you know, something like a gun on you. That's what I, I heard. Metal detectors. Something, or even guards at the thing that checks your purse and stuff. Yeah, I see more like those, you know, when you walk out of the store, those yeah. things go off. I see more like that. That's what my yeah. guides are. Feeling. That's what I'm feeling. And it, it, you have to put some money in on it. But but there's my guides are also telling me that there's going to be stricter gun control laws. And so at some point, they're going to outlaw or ban assault weapons. Right. And people say, well, we should have a right to carry arms. Yeah, you do. But on the same token, you don't have a right to carry a bazooka or right. a um, you don't the, have a right to do mass shootings. You don't need an AK to do hunting. Correct. And That's also, right. when they wrote this amendment, it was with uh, uh, muzzle shots. It wasn't even, it was. It's not like it is now. So, yeah. you know, I do, it's going to take a few years, but I do see bigger, better gun control legislation coming. Okay. So, thank goodness for that. At least that's what my guides say. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Cat96 wants to know, why is Clarence Thomas so full of hate? No. He's always angry. He's always angry. Um, well, I think a part of it is, is because he's getting called on his stuff. And well, with, not, the other thing I just heard is that he's way too ego-based. He thinks he's smarter and better than everyone else. And, and that's the thing. A lot of times when people, you know, are, you know, he, he's the epitome of narcissism. Yeah. And most narcissists, when they get caught on their stuff, they show anger and he's a bully. Yeah, and, well, just like Trump. Just like Trump. Okay, okay. Um, the R&E said, what, what were those GOP senators in Ukraine, Collins, Cornyn, McConnell, after they did nothing while Trump denied help to them? Why are they there? I'm sorry, what say? You know, all those senators, uh, McConnell and Collins, they went to Ukraine for a photo op. Well, that's Why did exactly they even go? For a photo op. Because, the one, because they wanted to make look good because there's some Republicans, you know, on the ultra-right fascism stuff who were like uh, saying they supported Pupkin. 
And so McConnell and those other Republicans went to Ukraine. My guide showed me for, it was a photo op. It was saying, see, look, we're for Ukraine. And then they didn't, and then they voted, they didn't want to vote to send Ukraine the, the funding. <laughs> Pierce. Pierce. So it was, it was just a big whitewash. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, I, I, I love Jay, uh, Carol, she said, you two make me laugh. Good. Especially when I kiss up to you. Yes, I know. And I demand it too, that you do kiss up <laughs> And when I clap my hands. <laughs> what is going to happen about the boxes of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago? They got a special grand jury looking at that now. Indictment, indictment, Thank indictment. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and the other indictment can come out saying Trump willfully took that stuff trying to cover up. Something. And that's, and that's because you have to prove intent and they'll be able to prove that intent. Awesome. So indictment with that too. Right, right. So basically a person said, do we have any good news coming up? Yeah, I think in June, which call is going to hit the fans? There's a lot of stuff going to hit the fans. I thought that those hearings would be become public before now, but maybe it is good that they waited because politically the midterms are coming up. Yeah. And so, yeah. and I keep seeing that I keep seeing a stimulus check coming before the midterms. Well, I know California is getting checks. Uh, every person registered with the DMV is getting a check. We had like a ninety-eight million or billion dollar uh, surplus. Well, I well, they should learn from California for how to have a surplus in this. Country. That's because we go out and break our leaves by the trees. <laughs> That's because you sell shrimp wagons on the side of the street. <laughs> Private joke. Linda likes yeah. that shrimp. <laughs> I love my shrimp. I like my shrimp, y'all. Anyway, I think there's going to be a, my guys are showing me a stimulus package coming out. Oh. Okay. Um, our stimulus check before the midterms for obvious reasons. Yeah. But, uh, and you know, I, I think listen. a lot of this going public before the midterms is also also going to show the corruption that was going on in the in the Trump administration. That's really going to help us in midterms. Absolutely. Now, just clear your mind. Dr. Oz, J.D. Vance, and that woman. What's her name? They they actually have pictures of her marching in the January sixth rally. Wow. Who, which one of those is going to be the Democratic pick? Well, Mehmet Oz is not a Democrat. He's a Republican, I think. I mean, sorry, no, I'm not asking about the Democrats. I'm asking about the Republicans. Oh, is it JD? no, it's not JD Vance. JD Vance wants something else. It's Doctor Oz, somebody else, McNeil or something, and that woman. Who do you see when you look psychically at them? Which one comes from? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm think, you know, that woman wins, the one that's just outrageous, the one that is a product of a rape. Oh, yeah. Her mother was 12 or something. I think they're going to find out she lied about a lot of stuff. She did. She but, lied about a lot. But, but do you see her winning? Because the Republicans are panicked. Because if she wins and she runs as senator for the whole state, logical people aren't going to take her. For what state? California? No, no it's not. No, California. not California. It's, um, Philadelphia. Because Fetterman is the is probably going to be the Democratic challenger. I hear she'll win, but then she'll lose. Meaning. Okay. That's actually good for us if she wins. It's amazing for us. Yeah. If she wins, I just feel people not coming out to vote. They won't. And I feel people have more of a bad taste in their mouth for us than they do for her. Actually, I was just going to say, in a way, I hope Oz does win because they're thinking his status is a doctor, but he's not that great of a doctor. And he doesn't live in Philadelphia. Correct. And so that's even better for the Democrats. I think it's better if she wins because it'll just, McConnell's uh -huh. scared to death she'll win. He's, oh yeah, he's like, do doing but with as far as Mehmet Oz is concerned this is really the beginning of his downfall somebody wrote on Twitter what do you think um Zelensky was thinking when he met 
McConnell face to face because they're shaking hand. And I quote it, he really does look like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Zelensky was probably, probably he really does look like a turtle. Zelensky was probably thinking, I'll never eat turtle soup again. Look, I asked about what would happen to Oz as we were talking, and I pulled the two of wands. Look at that. People turning their back on him. Yeah. So. Yeah, he might not win. It might be that girl. I'm going to sit down and do an actual reading, maybe even today on that. I heard she'll win, but then she, she'll lose. That's what okay, I Okay, so that means she'll win the Republican nominee and lose to the Democrat. That's what I heard. I, so. I always saw Fetterman winning. Uh, the Democrat. The, the, no, yeah, the Democrat. He's the, he's the one that had the stroke. Right. He's a former former attorney general. Well, soon to be former. So but, you know, like you, like you, like you were saying, the stroke really didn't affect them. That I mean, it didn't. It was just. That, like, yeah, the doctors. They of course they're keeping an eye on him, but he was very lucky, and he had no. You know, years ago, I had was traveling up by George Lucas's house with my son on a long walk, and I had chest pain. And it would not go away and it started going up to my jaw. And I thought, uh oh. So I turned around because my son really wanted me to see this vista, but I said, son, we got to turn around. And I was, it was crushing. And I drove my son home. And when I got home, I started to feel lightheaded and I called 911. Thank God. And then, oh, then the firemen, of course, they had to be gorgeous. <laughs> I ripped my shirt open. Linda's going, use the paddles, use the paddles. I demand mouth to mouth. <laughs> so they gave me some nitro under the tongue, a good mass amount, which gives you a horrible headache, but it took away the pain. I never had pain again after that. Oh God, when they did but they, Yeah, but they took me to the hospital in San Francisco to the, uh, I think they took, it was the Kaiser one, because that's the only place that deals with, you know, heart issues. So, um, because in the ER, they took a test of me and I showed the enzymes of a heart attack. So they said, do you have a heart attack? And they shipped me over to San Francisco. I never forget calling my dad. I, I think I wasn't even 50 or just turned 50. The dad, I had a heart attack. He got so mad at me. No, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> he was mad that I had it. You know, some parents, sometimes get mad because they 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 don't want to hear it. So anyway, so um, then they they went up and found out I had an eighty percent occlusion. They put a stent. I was you know I had to have uh, the the blood thinners for a while, but then when they did the test again the next day, the enzymes basically almost dissipated. So they said technically you did not have a heart attack. I don't think so. I think you had what's called a cardiac event. Yeah, I had stress on the heart and it was starting to shoot the enzymes, but they we caught it before it turned into a full- It was heart. about ready to go to a heart attack, but- it Well, was. that's what happened to him. He had um, a clot that went through and they were able to, to get rid of the clot immediately. And so, then, so they gave him the clot buster and he had a cardiac event, but uh, I mean, I don't see any heart damage or any brain damage. And no there. brain damage. The doctor said, you're gonna be fine. Anything, it might help him win. Yeah, well, do you think people, I would go out and vote for him if I was there. Oh, I have, he, Especially after I see he's going to be fine. Oh, I'd, I'd absolutely vote for him. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think we've already answered this, but uh, SG, will Russia attack Finland with one of its nuclear subs? She said, I have this awful feeling about this. Wait, well, what? SG, will Russia attack Finland with one of its no. nuclear subs? I don't feel no. that. Uh, I think the awful feeling that SG is getting is she's probably hooked into maybe what Putin is thinking. Oh, that that's the other thing. You know, some people like, you know, they felt like on this date, Putin was going to drop a bomb or something. <laughs> and, and I'm not saying that they're not wrong, right, not wrong. You know, some people go, well, that psychic said this and you know, and the date came and went. And uh, first of all, psychics should never use dates. But it doesn't mean that a lot of people may, might even be more intuitive because they're picking up what he's thinking. There is and, nothing anybody said that he hasn't been thinking. 
correct. That's called telepathy. Yeah. And a long time ago, I worked on, I still work on some forensics cases, but there was one case in particular I worked on and I was getting these strong psychic hits, but I had the police in the room with me and I'm writing it all down. So I gave it to them. And that's exactly what they were thinking. We were all wrong. And the reason is because I was hooked in unknown to me what the police were thinking. Yeah, that's so easy to do. Oh, it's easy. It's so easy. Actually, I think my readings have gotten better since I stopped doing mono e mono. I used to work and do face to face readings. People get upset because they miss that. But while I'm on the phone, I'm less personal and I get my hit stronger. That's what's happened to me before is like hooked in telepathically. And it's like, whoa. Because sometimes people are very powerful. By God, they want you to say what they want to hear. And sometimes you don't know the difference. You don't know if it's telepathic or precognitive. And I'm going to teach that in my class in Sedona. But sometimes, oh, yes. sometimes we just don't know. Right. And now, so listen, I, um, this is a very good question. Um, why? Well, those ignoring the January 6th committee subpoenas you know jim jordan mark meadows all those people is there any repercussion is anything going to happen well i see it been sent to the doj and they're gonna they're gonna be on the grand jury and they're gonna be indicted but i think what's happening is and we know this it doesn't necessarily take a psychic but my guides affirm it that what they're doing is trying to run out the clock with the doj because they're thinking that in in the midterms, if the Republicans take over, the committee's going to be gone and it'll just be moot. But I see them, if you don't cooperate, you're going to get indicted and they will. Right. Well, this committee is not about it really throwing anybody on the cross. This committee is about how do we make sure this doesn't happen again? Correct. But because the, the, the midterms uh, isn't till November. And I don't think this committee will be a strong man. But I do see after November, now let's talk shop. Well, I think they're, you know, the repubes are trying to run out the clock, obviously, because right. they're like, like I said, they're thinking they'll take over the, the house and then the committee will be gone. But right. I see, you're right, after the midterms, even more big stuff. But this committee is not going away. And, you know, what, is, what it's done is it's caused like a, tiny constitutional crisis because you have the Senate calling these some of these people in the House that they have to testify and they're these people are saying no and they're at odds with each other and that is kind of a, like a tiny constitutional crisis there but right right that's where the courts solve it and right. the courts are going to say if these people don't testify they're going to be indicted and they will okay uh, that's what my guides show me. Well, this is a good one. I got wow. one by, by SHO. Hello, Mel and Linda. Question, will Trump flee the country? It's getting pretty darn hot. That's what the, that's what the statement says. <laughs> it is. Oh, you it's know, a lot of people have said they see him going to Saudi Arabia. But I feel like a Manafort thing, like they, they might do something to his passport as soon as he's indicted or something and he won't be able to get away. I don't see them putting him in jail, but they might put him under house arrest, but he that's when he goes downhill big time. Even if he did flee the country, what I see, what my guides show me is even if he fled the country, they can still revoke his passport. And if your passport is revoked, the other way you can stay in another country is that they give you one. And, and you know, they'd still get him back here. Okay. And it, as stupid as Trump is, uh, he's not smart. He's at least smart enough to know not to flee the country. If he did, he might do so as a former past president or something, but it wouldn't work. It just you know, what the hell is he doing taking boxes of documents that were, you know, stamped he, with, you know, for, for high because, level? Because my guide say he's got this sense of entitlement and it belongs to me. But he was also... The reason he did that, the underlying thing, is because he was trying to destroy evidence. Yeah. And if he took those boxes, they couldn't find them. Yeah, and the other thing is he used to eat stuff. He used to throw it down the toilet. 
He used to get rid of any paperwork, totally illegal. They were all up in arms about Hillary Clinton and her phone and come to find out all of them used their personal phones. You know, when Trump took those documents, it was part of his cover up. Well, if I have them, they'll never find them. And I don't know exactly how they found them, but I think somebody leaked and told him that he's got those. Well, documents. I think that the people that in charge of them was really wanting to know where the hell. And he took some items, too. Correct. Didn't he take the Abraham Lincoln bust? Yes, he took some items, which. That was that van that was parked in front of the White House. Do you remember that van that was parked in front? And everybody's going, what the hell is that about? Right. He's wow. an idiot. Okay. Oh, this is good. Patricia M. I like this, Patricia. This is a good one. Please look at how long women will have to endure the GOP red state draconian laws regarding their bodies. Will many have to suffer until it's reversed? And please look at the possible states you feel might flip Senate-wise during the midterms. Thank you. I'll have to look at the states on a separate occasion. But she, wa she wants to know how long women have to endure the red state horrible laws that they place for you know preventing them from right after right after midterms i see governors switching out i see beto taking over texas i see um the guy in florida was maybe some of those other ones like arkansas and the real red ones maybe not but i see we're going to get federal laws on the book and it's over well, they tried to codify the abortion thing by getting it through the Senate, but they didn't have enough. I don't know why they couldn't use the nuclear option. I, I got to read on that. If anybody out there knows why they couldn't, let us yeah, know. Yeah, because of Mansion and Cinema. They did, they wouldn't allow them to use the nuclear option. Wow. Well, Mansion, no. I don't know what Cinema was, but anyway. Well, she was for the rights, but they don't let them do this, the nuke, nuke option. Somebody asked, will Steve Schmidt's comments about Russian involvement in John McCain's presidential campaign shed new light on the origins of Russia's involvement in the Republican Party? Absolutely. There's no new light. It's always been like that. It's always been there, but, it's, but it will come to the surface. Okay. And it's also going to come out that Trump had given a lot of our secrets to Putin. Um, maybe not directly, but to ambassadors that, you know, Russian ambassadors that told that, you know, the Pupkin had appointed, uh, especially when there was that thing where they came to the White House and we wouldn't have known about it except the, the Russian press released it. Remember that? Exactly. Exactly. Um, my guide showed me top secret documents or secret documents handed over to them. And that's going to come out. Wow. Ukraine, Ukraine's going to find out about a lot of the secret documents that for some, for some reason, I don't know how Ukraine would find out about it, but that the Trump administration handed over to the Russians. Um, and it'll, it'll be made known, absolutely. Somebody asked, um, will women lose the right to vote within the next one to two years? No. Thanks to SCOTUS. And not, I can give you an absolutely no. A lot of people are worried about gay rights if they're going to go after gay marriage. And you and I talked about that. And I got home that day and there was this big banner that they're going after gay marriage. And I remember I, I texted you. But what is your prediction on gay marriage? No, they're not going to be able to touch it. That's what I think, too. OK. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, Michael Nagoyan. Do you see Elizabeth Warren as Senate majority leader or in a much higher post in the near future? I hear yes. I see her staying in the Senate. Uh, she fills in charge of something. Uh, she would be a great Senate, Senate majority leader. Let me think. Let me ask. It might take a while. Chuck Grassley, not Chuck Grassley. The other uh, guy is, is in charge now. Schumer. 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 I like him, but let me see if she'll take his spot at some point. Let me ask. Um, uh, okay, I pulled the five of cups. So I don't know if that means Schumer would step down or have some ill health or something. But at some point, I'm hearing, yes, she would hold that position as the House Majority Leader. 
Wow. Not the House, I'm sorry, Senate, Senate, Senate. And boy, she would be great for that. Yes, she would. I like the other one I like is the one with the whiteboard. What's her name? Yeah, yeah uh, I can't think of it, but. She's so smart. So what do you see for Elizabeth Warren? The same thing or what? I'm just same curious. Thing. I feel like she's working hard and she's digging in there and she's making sure that rights are attended to and that the poor people have a little something in their pocket. I like her. I, would, I really I like her. I'd like to see her as vice president at this point. <laughs> well, but you I, know, he was considering her. But I think for her, it's better for her to stay in the Senate. I think she can get a lot more done being in the Senate than she could as like vice president. <laughs> and, you know, Friday, the Dow Jones went 500 points up. So did the, the other one. And today, just now I looked, it's up 160 points. Well, when it's bouncing all over the place and it had that big hit, I wasn't worried about it. It'll, it'll yeah. come back. Okay, Gina Brenneman asks, it looks like Mastriano will be the GOP candidate for governor in Pennsylvania. That's the one. It's, it's Mastriano, Oz, and that woman. It says, it looks like Mastriano will be the GOP candidate for governor. That's what she says. Uh, will he oh, wait, no, that's Senate, sorry. Yep. Okay. But this is for the, go the governor of Pennsylvania. She asked, will he lose to the Dems? Uh, Shapiro, I think, is a Democrat that's running. Shapiro is a Democrat that's running? Shapiro's a Democrat. It looks like Mastriano would be the, the uh, Republican candidate. He said Mastriano is a Trump back person. No, he won't win. I didn't pick that up either. Okay. Oh, Mastriano this is a Trump. Listen, tr tr Trump's going to find out his his pluses is nothing what he thinks about somebody he's going to lose bigly just like he did in 2018 i can't believe these guys are allowing him to open his big mouth he lost most of the people he went traveling as president everywhere if you don't pick my people i will be impeached he told everybody and what happened he won one seat in the senate i think because right i they think that they can just hold on to the Trump base and that'll put them in office, but it won't. Yeah. Listen, this will have to be the last question because I have a client at 11. Okay. This is good. Barbara Teresa. My mother's name was Teresa. Hi, Mel and Linda. This is good. What is the real reason Florida Secretary of State Laura Lee resigned abruptly last week? Thank you, she says. What? I, uh, the, the Florida Secretary of State Laura Lee resigned abruptly last week, and she is a Republican. Yeah. And um, she was she was totally for the Satan. Uh, and, you know, I looked at her resignation letter and it was like, the, you know, it was great working with him and all the policies, the great policies we brought to Florida. I think she resigned because she's going to try, she's going to run for Congress. Oh, okay. She's going to run for something. Uh, I don't think she had a falling out with the Satan. I really feel like she's going to run for Congress. And I think they probably told her. I also wrote, think something's coming up with her, like an investigation or something's coming there up. There will her. be. There will be. But I think they also told her run for Congress and we'll back you because he had somebody else that he was thinking of putting in for Secretary of State in Florida. Okay. Because they control the elections, who counts the votes and all of that stuff. Oh, so, Okay. It doesn't matter. He's gone. He's gone. The judge just told uh, his, uh, what do you call his map of Florida was unconstitutional. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, honey. Well, I'll see you Wednesday. It'll be Yay. 82 degrees. Yeah, I was like, it's going to be 59 here in Chicago on Wednesday. It was, it's warm today. We've had really 80s out here. here. It's been really warm here too in the 80s. One day right. 90, but... Um, I, I checked Sedona. I think they said 86 or something. 82. Oh, cool. Then you won't need to crank up the air as much. The day we go in, it might be 84 to 86, but 82. I don't think it's going to be as hot as it was when we were there last year. Yeah. Cool. And they got new towels too. I like that. I'm so, oh, yeah. Thank God. There are towels, you guys, for such a nice place. Like this. And they were hard as a rock. 
Oh my God. I was thinking about bringing my beach towel this year. So I need you don't to have to do that now. He said they got better towels. Thank goodness. All, all right, right, you guys. I love you all. We'll, all we'll be see back. you from Sedona. Okay.